We're on our way back up to the cabin. We've got about four and a half miles to go. We're gonna go way over the top, way up there. Hey guys, welcome back to the only flat spot <laughs> available in the shop here. Um, yeah, I've been uh, been really busy, been overdue on on getting a video out, so we're we're real busy on the uh, kitchen remodel work that we're doing, um, big project. So um, I want to start out by acknowledging and thanking uh, those that have sent stickers. Um, so let's get right at it here. So Lance and Patrick, I got your uh, Active Adam stickers. And anybody who hasn't been to their channel, um, um, have a look. They're, uh, they're definitely worth checking out. They, they do some interesting stuff. Micro machining, watchmaker, tooling, and, and so forth. They got, they've got some interesting stuff there. Okay. And then uh, Bob over at the uh, the old Iron Lover. Thank you, Bob. Got your stickers. And then I think I've showed um, Doug's before at Metalworks Machine Shop. And Everett, thank you. Got your sticker. And Everett's got some new stuff out. Definitely check them out. And of course, everybody knows uh, Adam, A Bomb Seventy Nine, and then Tom over at Hilltop Machine Works. I think I already showed his uh, the last time, but uh, thank you. And uh, anybody who wants to get one of my stickers, just uh, shoot me an email. I'll put the uh, email address in the uh, description, and uh, we'll get you a sticker out. Okay, so. Um, like I say, I've been really busy with the kitchen remodel work, but, um, I did get out uh, a couple of times and been helping a buddy with an estate sale, um, quite a few machine, uh, related items. So naturally I had to pick up a few things. <laughs> so we'll look at that next. And also, uh, we did another cabin trip, so I got a little bit of footage from the cabin trip. But uh, let me uh, let me move the camera around, and uh, or I should clear the bench off, and then uh, I'll show you a few of the items that I'm pretty excited about from the estate sale. Okay, I don't know how I forgot this, but <laughs> we got Tom Lipton's uh, stickers, Ox Tool. I think everybody knows Tom. And uh, he gave me one of his mouse pads also. That's really cool. Thank you, Tom. And uh, we'll get all these stickers up in the next few days. If we can get to our wall, we've got the poor Bridgeport Mill right now. It's become a storage area for <laughs> carpenter tools, construction tools. It's just uh, everything's a mess here. So anyways, um, here's some of the things... Um, the more interesting items um, got, you know, an assortment of drill bits and some high-speed steel and, you know, typical things. But but these were uh, these were kind of standouts. Um, so um, Adam must have missed this one. <laughs> I think he's cornered the market on uh, on uh, drill bit holders. But uh, yeah, this is a nice Cleveland one. So I'm happy to. So I've gotten that. It's in uh, in pretty good shape. Just needs just a little bit of light cleaning, but uh, yeah, it's nice. And we got a, a never been used uh, Pew's oiler. It's still dry as a bone inside, so that'll be very handy. You never have enough oilers. And we got us a loop. So this is an 8x18. Um, 
looks to be in really good shape. In fact, I don't think it's ever been used. It's got the, um, uh, I don't know what you call that, the, the attachment band. I'm assuming, I'm going to have to figure out how you set this up. But I'm assuming you use that to, to create a holder for your uh, safety glasses. Uh, to attach the uh, loop to your glasses, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> so I've got to look into that. If anybody uh, knows how you're supposed to use the uh, the wire, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. That, that would be handy to know. Okay, but anyways, there we go. And then this is kind of an interesting vice. It's a uh, Producto Machine Company. And it's just a, it's a quick acting uh, uh, drill press vise, or I guess even a milling vise. So it's got a, let's bring it around here so you guys can see it. So it's got this uh, release here, which allows you to you know, move the jaw quickly and then drop it into one of the slots. And then it just has a short regular screw you know, for your final tightening. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool, so I grabbed that. And then I never see these. <laughs> I think Mr. Pete's got them all. But uh, finally got a pair of these Bernard uh, parallel pliers. I need a little cleaning, but uh, they seem to be in pretty good shape. So I'm in the uh, Bernard plier club now. And then this is a, uh, a little double square, four inch. And it's a union uh, tool company. And it's still got, I don't know if it's Cosmoline or, or uh, shipping wax on it. So it's in, you know, never been used condition. A couple little marks maybe from banging around. But uh, yeah, it's happy to get that. And then this is one of these lead hammer molds. Yeah. I was going to try making one, but but the, this was in the uh, the mix there at the at the estate, so it's like okay, now I don't have to make one, and uh, uh, it came with uh, a couple of handles, so got a little project to make some hammers, and it even had a ladle. Pretty neat. And then here's a uh, let's see if I can get it in frame here. So this is a CW Marduetel. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, tap drill chart. And on the back side, I, got, I grabbed two of them. Back side is the decimal equivalents. So it's a really, really cool looking, um, nostalgic type chart. So that'll look good on the wall. And then they also had the small version. Same thing, just smaller, different color. Pretty cool. Okay, let me um, let me pause the camera for a second. Got one more item. Okay, we got a rotary table. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I was actually going to try making one, probably just with a, one of those lazy Susan type uh, um, bearing assemblies. But this is this is really neat. It's cast iron. Table's removable. It's um, from the William Dixon uh, Company, Newark, New Jersey. The um, there's a I'm guessing it's a bronze, maybe brass bushing in there. It is a little loose, so there's some slop here. So I might make a new bushing. I don't. I can't imagine that it that it would have gotten worn out. <laughs> it's probably just the way they made them. But, uh, it's pretty cool. Nice little rotary table. It's got that wobble because that bushing's a little loose. But anyways, I thought that was really neat. Okay, I got one more item to show you guys. All right, we finally got a real anvil. So this is a, a Vulcan. 
It's uh, 70 pounds. And let me grab a tape measure. So it's 18 inches or 46 centimeters for you metric guys. And how high is it? It's like about eight and a half or uh, 21 centimeters. And uh, about three and a quarter wide. Eight and a half centimeters again. Yeah, so i um, really happy to get this. Um, my uh, other anvil is going to feel a little intimidated. <laughs> All right. So that was our previous anvil. And I know... Um, Lance and Pat over at Active Adam, they've had their eye on this guy. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a jeweler's anvil from what I've been able to find out. And it's either brass or bronze. I'm guessing it's bronze. Um, there's no maker's mark on it. But it's, uh, it's really cool. I, <laughs> it's more of a paperweight for me than anything else. But uh, yeah, little brother, big brother. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me get you, get you a closer shot of the uh, maker's mark here. Yeah. So it's a Vulcan. I haven't done much research, um, but I think it's a pretty good uh, uh, popular one. Okay. Um, I do have one more thing to show you guys, so hold on, let me uh, let me move the camera around. So we officially joined the Shaper Club. Little bitty guy as it is. <laughs> but uh, real excited that we got this. It's a little seven inch uh, Atlas Shaper. Bench top type model. Um, I do have, it did come with a stand. It's not the, correct stand but it's a nice stand uh, and it matches the uh, the machine uh, we do have a little bit of work to do um, besides cleaning we got to make a uh, belt guard for this side or find a belt guard for this side um, there's been a uh, kind of a repair that somebody made here uh, the uh, the casting is broke back there uh, where the original guard attached so I'm guessing it probably got broke. The guard probably got broken as well. So anyways, um, it seems to be, other than that, in really good condition. Um, really no wear marks or chowder marks. Uh, very clean. I don't think it's had much use at all. So we've got to, um, when we get time, right, it's going to be a while. <laughs> When we get time, we got to do do some cleaning and oiling and and uh, giving giving it a good check out before we actually run it. Um, I did not try running it. I didn't I didn't want to take the chance of something being frozen and just throwing the switch and you know possibly causing some damage. So there's no time right now. So this is going to be a project probably for the winter. We'll see what happens. Um, uh, for now, it's just sitting here on a cart. <laughs> um, poor uh, garage shop is just packed to the rafters right now with uh, with everything else I've got going on. I just can't even move out here. All right, well, there you go.
good on this turn. Yeah. back up to the cabin we got about four and a half miles to go we're gonna go way over the top way up there there where the fog's coming across that's where we're going
happy. We got the gate open. We're waiting on uh, waiting on our buddy Matt to get up here. He's gonna blab that bulldozer guy. Yeah, he's talking to the bulldozer guy down there, probably working a deal with him. So this is one of the creeks. Nice little creek running through, and a little nice shady little area here. That's just making Aaron happy right there. four. That's 
Mount St. Helena. even a half mile to go to get to the cabin still just stopped here we got a trail cam down the hill here and I don't know if you guys can see this or not but uh, there's a tree stand right there kind of a pretty little spot here and there's some pretty good sized trees in here pine tree all right next stop is the cabin my buddy would take you walked up ahead and check the road and turn on our water and that kind of stuff said that down in town they had three and a half inches of rain. Um, let's see, that would have been uh, two days? Three, day, three days ago. So I'm guessing we probably got at least five, maybe more up here.
was a deer. see her up there or not <laughs> okay first order of business all right we're officially at the cabin now <laughs> yeah, it's oh. Oh, yeah. all right come here buddy the ground, just, the ground is so wet yeah, the what's <laughs> Out, load them out. The inside bathroom. Oh man, that water. It's steam. Hot. Feel that. Shower. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, buddy, we're gonna let you go. Got the tri-tip and the baked potatoes. Oak fire. Okay guys, we also got our summer bash t-shirt. Bash is uh, three weeks away. When hell freezes over. So uh, we're gonna be there. Hopefully uh, we'll see some of you guys there. And once again, thanks everybody for uh, stopping by. And uh, sorry for the delay getting the uh, video out. Uh, hopefully we'll get back on a regular schedule at some point, but uh, it's pretty much going to be an all all summer uh, project here on the house. So, anyways, thanks again, and we'll see you guys later.